ladies and gentlemen, the BT Young Scientist and Technologist of the Year 2011 is Alexander Amini from Castleknock College in Dublin. After three days of judging, the winner of the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition 2011 was named as 15-year-old Alexander Amini from Castleknock College in Dublin for his project entitled Tennis Sensor Data Analysis. It's an amazing feeling hearing my name called out in a loudspeaker. It's amazing. I'm originally from New York. I moved here about six months ago and I'll be staying in Ireland for about uh, two years or three more years so I'll finish my leaving sir and go back to New York. And I came across this project because uh, I've actually been playing tennis for a very long time and uh, the way I was being taught tennis was based uh, very largely on technique and technique and constant drilling of the strokes and uh, I came across the, the, the combination of tennis and applying sensors to it because uh, I've actually been taking uh, about two years of very advanced uh, uh, college-level computer programming classes and uh, the combination of the two really brought me to this project. The difference between a forehand topspin and a forehand flat would be accounted for in my programming algorithms. So I'd be able to provide feedback to the player and uh, how he was uh, performing based on what strokes he was being hit. His mother has been saying that he's been working till one, two in the morning on this for months, you know, and for for you know, a young adult, that's incredible, incredible dedication and to put all that effort in, it, it's, it must be tremendous to see it come, come good here. Naturally for himself personally, it's a great honour for him and a great tribute to him uh, and I see his mum is here and she's so proud about it uh, and really it's, it's just an absolutely overwhelming occasion I would, might add for a young man to come up here and, and to win but really it's full compliments to him and we wish him well now in the European competition. Two or three weeks into the competition he was so excited about it, he started staying up, he was midnight, 2 a.m things like that just working and working he'd wake wake up you know sometimes early to make sure he could work on it before school and weekends and and everything even even over christmas christmas day poor thing he was he was working on it but what does it all mean? You know, understanding how to play tennis better, basically, how to get the perfect backhand, how to, uh, you know, help people coach. But also, with this project, there's a huge potential for use and rehabilitation. Um, the, the system can monitor movement, it can model you, it can see if you're doing well or badly in, in different ways. So there's so many ways this could be used, across all sports, but also across rehabilitation medicine. There's no way we could get over 100 of our staff here you know, working 16, 18 hours a day to make this a success if, if everybody didn't believe in it, you know, so we're 100% behind the, the BT Young Scientist and, you know, we hope to be involved for a long, long time.